Keep the kid chocolate quilling. I'm here to announce that I got a fight with Annie Lee, April 11th. Fight for that WBO middleweight title. You know I'm coming for my belt. That's all that need to be said. You know, the destination, the location still to be announced. Stay tuned for that. I want to thank Al Heyman. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let's get right into it. Peter Quillen and Andy Lee, new champion for the belt. Let's go. Let's talk about it. And this fight was agreed upon. A deal was reached. This fight actually endured a little bit of obstacles because Andy Lee was supposed to fight Billy Joe Saunders as his mandatory, but obviously they had to pay him some step aside of money or, or whatever the situation is, and they were able to handle it in order to make this probably bigger fight. You know what I mean? Billy Joe Sanders, he doesn't have the stateside type of um, support in terms of his name, I would say, as a, as a Peter Quillen. Peter Quillen's been on Showtime a couple of times. He was the, the reigning and champion or whatever, and initially it was his belt. Now, interesting to me because... Al Heyman, he has his people, and he has them on a tight leash. Like, they really listen to him and do what he says. And I can't help but to believe that Al Heyman was the one who advised him to drop the belt for whatever reason. He says it was because his wife was pregnant and stuff like that. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that came from Al Heyman. And a lot of people were, were shocked because... He was offered a hefty sum of money from Rock Nation. I believe it was $1.4 million to fight with Rock Nation Sports and fight uh, Matt Korobov, who just lost to Andy Lee. And that was on the um, Timothy Bradley undercard with Diego Chavez. So a lot of people, they were, they kind of, they, they raised their eyebrow. They didn't know what the fuck was up with Quillen. And they're like, damn, why did you just give up your belt? Like, I still don't understand it. To the, I mean, you could have a pregnant wife, much respect to them. And um, I've talked to Peter Quillen and, and worked with him, interviewed him and stuff. But it didn't make sense. And for the boxing fans, it's like when we can't make sense of stuff, it, it kind of frustrates us. Like we, These guys work so hard to get to that world title, to get to that championship level. So to just give up your belt... It's just, it's kind of hard to explain. You got to get Robert Stack on some Unsolved mystery shit. So, again, moving forward, people don't know why he dropped his belt. It wasn't a good look, in my opinion. But, the interesting thing is, he's right back in the contention to fight for that belt. Now, as a fight, whether you like that or not, like, some people, I try not to uh, be as emotional as some of these people on the video. I want to talk about the fight now. And some people are like, oh, he doesn't deserve it. He just gave it up. I, I mean, it is what it is. Boxing politics have always been there. So I want to break down the fight. As far as a fight, this is actually a good fight. Andy Lee has that one punch, right hook, home run, I could change shit type power. And um, he showed you that. But then we've also seen Andy Lee get stopped before by Chavez uh, Jr. He also got stopped before that. And... Peter Quillen can crack too. So you got two guys with power. Now the location is not agreed upon or finalized or whatever, but from what I'm hearing, it'll probably take place in New York. That again, that's not confirmed, so I wouldn't go off of it. But I'm I'm thinking maybe possibly the Barclays. Brooklyn is Peter Quillen's second home, secondary home or whatever you want to call it. So I think that's where they would um, probably make it. New York, I think they have some Irish people, um, like an Irish community. Um, at least nearby, you know what I mean? You can go, there's some nearby East Coast areas that, that definitely have an Irish community. Andy Lee, obviously being Irish. So I think the fight will do good in, um, New York on the East Coast, as opposed to like California or, or like at the stub hub or some shit like that. So I have a feeling it'll take place on the East Coast, either in uh, New Jersey or New York, primarily New York. I'm, I'm thinking at the Barclays, um, Again, as a fight, it's a, it's a good fight. It's, it's just weird that Peter Quillen is, is afforded this opportunity after surrendering his belts. But again, moving forward and dealing with the, the actual facts, that's what it is. So it's a good fight. It's an interesting fight. Um, really, for me, I want to see where Peter Quillen's head's at. I know he's filming a movie right now, and he's playing Roger Mayweather. I reported about that, so make sure you check my older video. You should be able to find that. And I don't know... 
as a fighter, you got to dedicate yourself to the sport 110%, point blank. And, and that's just what it is. So you can't have one foot out, one foot in, and, and teeter with this shit. You got to be dedicated. And I've seen so many people come up short when they try to do both or they try to live a double life, like drink and party and stuff and, and be a fighter. It just doesn't work like that. So same thing with that Hollywood life and film and movies and stuff. It's very hard. You got, it takes severe multitasking. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think of it like this. If you're Peter Quillen and you're getting a six-figure check, I mean, I don't know his salary. I'm just saying hypothetically, you're getting a six-figure check to act in a movie, right? That might even be more than what you make as a fighter, depending on what level of fighter you are and your popularity. And obviously, it, it requires less physical work. You, you're like you're not really taking a punch by an actor. You're you're faking it. It's choreographed. Versus really getting clubbed upside the head. So some people lose that. You know what I mean? When they do these little side endeavors and side ventures and, and dabble with sports as well as entertainment. You know what I mean? Sometimes you lose that drive. Sometimes you lose that hunger. So for me, this is going to be a good barometer for me to see where Peter Quillen really is. Like where the fuck his head really is at. Are you on some Hollywood shit and you're just comfortable? You've made money in boxing. You have a wife and a new child and you're in movies, or are you the disciplined fighter and the hungry fighter who was growing up in street fights and um, started boxing late, and you still have that like lion's heart and that lion's spirit? So to me, that's obviously, that's that's my main thing, and, and I want to gauge to see where Peter Quillen's at, because, I mean, his last fight with uh, Lucas Konecki, I wasn't impressed. You didn't stop him, you fought a bum, and you fought a guy that like, I, I really honestly believe if Triple G had fought Lucas Konecki, it would have been a short night. Like, he did nothing, yet you allowed him to hang around. So, I don't know. Again, I don't know what caused that. Um, looking forward to the future, I want to see. And I want to see where Peter Quillen's head's at. How hungry is he? Because you vacated the belt. Just decisions like that. I've seen him in interviews. I don't know where his head's at. So, again, this is a good fight because Andy Lee is not a pushover. Andy Lee got heart. Andy Lee can crack. Andy Lee, you're not going to, um, like, Chavez, even Chavez Jr. had to figure out a, a bit of a puzzle when he fought him. I thought Andy Lee looked good in the first maybe three rounds, and then Chavez Jr. started to build confidence. Chavez Jr., I don't, I can't say this enough, that motherfucker got a chin because he was taking, he was taunting Andy Lee in that fight, he was taking his best shots, and like, come on, come on, putting his hands down and shit, he, that motherfucker got a chin, I don't care what nobody says, I don't care if you hate him, or the weed smoke, you can say whatever the fuck you want, that dude got a chin, anyway, back to Quillen and Andy Lee, it's a good fight, it's gonna be a good, um, it, overall, it's a good test, because Andy Lee, I've seen him outboxed before, but to me, he, you got boxed, outboxed by, a real boxer like a Matt Korobov who who I believe has some amateur experience and and that's more or less his style. I think Quillen's not necessarily he started boxing late. I don't I don't really con I consider him kind of a more of a banger, maybe even a boxer puncher. But you know what I'm saying I haven't seen him just operate with such guile and finesse as a boxer. Like I don't consider him just the ultimate technician, like a Edison Lara or somebody like that. You know what I mean? He's good, but I, I consider him at best like a boxer puncher. So is he going to have it in him to um, outbox a guy like Andy Lee? I think he, he's going to have to have more of a Chavez Jr. game plan because I don't think his style is, is to be like Matt Korobov and, and just be winning and, and systematically break him down, if you will, if that makes any sense. So it's a good fight. And it's a good gauge to see how hungry this man is and to see how Andy Lee looks. Because Andy Lee, he's had his ups and downs in the sport. And he's had some fights that it looked like for sure he was going to lose. John Jackson, he was getting his ass whooped. He was definitely losing that fight. And then John Jackson got a little bit too um, overconfident and trying to get the stoppage. And he got caught. And, and it happens in boxing. So... It's not like Andy Lee is, is invincible. I've seen Andy Lee losing. But again, Andy Lee got heart. And he, he's going to be dangerous until you get him out of there. You know what I mean? A la Chavez Jr. So let me know what you guys think of this fight. 
Peter Quillen, Andy Lee. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about Peter Quillen vacating his belt and coming right back to an opportunity to fight for that belt? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.